Hello, uh, I'm David Gillespie. I have a PhD from the Department of Electronic and Electrical Engineering at the University of Strathclyde and I am a chartered engineer. So when it comes to vehicle electronics, I should not be allowed to do it without the supervision of an adult and this will, video will show you why that's the case. So what I'm doing here today is I've fitted a rear view uh, parking camera to my Volkswagen Caddy and if I can swap this over so <clears throat> you can see uh, my rear view mirror monitor here and when I put it into reverse you have a nice rear view uh, image so I can see where I'm going however as soon as I turn on the ignition we start getting interference with the picture. Back to... And picture's fine again. So what's happening there is when the engine is running, the voltage uh, pulses, or modulating voltage, um, and the system uses this so it can tell if there's a, a brake light out or something. Um, so what I need to do is I need to fit a voltage stabiliser um, and that's what this video is going to be. Uh, so if you've had the same issue as me, this will show you how to do that. Right, so if you've got to the stage of you've actually plugged your uh, power cable into your camera, you basically want to cut into that power cable and insert to the your voltage distributor voltage uh, regulator into it now you notice this has got a in and an out on it so you want the inside to be coming from your uh, live and your out to go to the camera and you can see here I've just twisted these cables in place so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to solder these in place and then we'll start the uh, van up and see if the signal's any better. Righty ho, moment of truth. Engine is on. Into reverse. Nice, clean signal. There you go.